Come, Sam. I was preaching years ago, and a man of God preached before me, and he shared a story that I found very, very powerful. Pay attention to the story. This is what he said. That there was a senior advocate, I think in this country or so, or around the world, very senior senior legal practitioner very wealthy very successful influential one whose name is a key you know names can be two things keys or padlocks <laughs> but this one his name is a key and there was this young lawyer who had tried and tried tried to set up his firm it failed tried it's very sincere smart gentleman watch this and he was really frustrated and he went to God in prayer and said, Lord, change my life. Things have to change. And every time he would stand, he would see some of these top clients, institutions, running around to talk to that senior advocate to help them, you know, in, in, in all kinds of legal services. And these people would be bidding for millions, millions of dollars. And that gentleman felt life was so unfair. I'm just looking for a fraction of this thing. Look what they want to give this man and he's leaving them. And what kind of thing is this? When God wanted to help that gentleman, this is what happened. In the presence, I think they were at a conference. And there were several people, businessmen, billionaires, other lawyers, the captains of industry. And this young man came and cried and said, sir, please help me. Please change my life. And the man said, okay, I will help you and he said follow me and he came out of the veranda and everybody was looking at him oh this is that our senior advocate what is he doing with this guy then he began to talk with him so how are you how is your wife i said sir that's not the issue i'm bro he said just talk to me and they were walking together how are you are you eating well are you taking and he was angry he was saying sir the issue is that i'm i'm hungry and the man said he walked with him and when he walked with him he got into his office and said if you still fail don't come to my office again listen listen do you know you know what he was doing people were saying who is this man please sit down sit down and learn you are in the house of god The gentleman came out, true story. He was about to look for a bike to go home. And someone stopped him and said, sorry, I saw you with this man. Um, listen, listen. He did not even ask him if he was ill. He said, sorry, we've been trying to get him to negotiate a deal for us, but he, our rate, can we please, can we work with you? And he mentioned a rate that was a breakthrough. And the gentleman was wise to compose himself. Listen, true story. The moment he did that, God granted him grace, called some of his partners and worked together. And within a year, this gentleman got a gift and went back to the office of that senior advocate. He knelt down and said, thank you for changing my life. Then the senior advocate asked him, he said, do you know what happened to you? That's what I'm interested in. Keep your gift. You have to study what happened to you so that you will use it on others too favor is when an individual invests his credibility on you listen carefully who likes you in this kingdom matters for many of us we live in a world where the only thing we know is money once money is not in front of you you don't care about any other thing again if they keep money and they keep men you will carry money and it will finish and you will go back to square one there are seven currencies that we use to purchase realities in this kingdom everything is bought there are seven currencies the least of them is money I pray for you koinonia from the depth of my heart may you never be so poor that the only thing you have is money yeah. let me pray that prayer again 
and I say it with every sense of responsibility may you never be so poor that the only thing you have is money in your ATM listen then. there are superior currencies I trust you were blessed by that video a mega and slam inspirational channel is committed to satisfying the spiritual hunger of believers all around the world so if you were blessed by that video please share with someone and don't forget to subscribe god bless you